That wasn't very loud. <laughs> Say, me first. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, glory to the Lord. Amen. Well, I'm just going to pray for this sister first. I prayed for her yesterday, but she's bothered tonight in her body with something that didn't get prayed for yesterday. If she'll stand. Now, I raise up your hands get ready for it. Now, the funny thing about prayer is if you don't ask for it, you probably won't get it. Pray specifically, receive specifically. Amen. But all day long, you've been suffering with this hacking cough in your lungs. You want to get shed of it. Amen. <laughs> it, it waxed pretty bad today. <clears throat> it was, it, I was having problems yes, last evening where I was having trouble to breathe. And I sat there and I said, Lord, I can't breathe. You're going to have to do something. And finally my nose opened up and I could breathe. But I'm still getting this tickle running down the back of my throat. Okay. Well, let's get rid of it. Now, see, although we prayed for her yesterday of several things, we only got what we prayed for. We didn't pray for this. Which proves if you come back tomorrow night after you were prayed for tonight, you could get prayed for again tomorrow night. Amen. For something else. <laughs> Lord God, let the power of God go into her lungs and take from her this hacking and this coughing. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And remove. Thank you, Father. Have relief. It's done. In Jesus' name. Glory be to God. The sister in the red hair in the pew in front of her, well, it looks like mostly red anyway. We're going to pray for you next. You want the Lord to touch your body tonight? Yes. Amen. Okay, raise your hand. Someone said, Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah to God. Now look upon me. God's going to touch you in your back, first of all. You suffer of your back. Is that right? Yes, I do. Now it's, it starts right between the shoulder blades. Mm -hmm. Is that where it is? Mm -hmm. It's coming out of your shoulder blades now. You see, the same God that knows you need to be prayed for knows what's wrong with you and what you need to be prayed for. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Jesus. Hallelujah. You, we ask you, Lord, to take this out of her back. It's been there a long time. Yes. Will you know when it's gone? Yes. Well, you ought to. I mean, you've been suffering with it. So. Well, here it goes. Tell it goodbye. Thank Goodbye. I won't miss you. I won't miss you at all. Smart girl. <laughs> Loosen this sister now. Heal her and the suffering between the very shoulder blades of her back. There's your focal point at the beginning. Praise God. Jesus. Yes. Thank God. Follow me now a few steps of faith. This is called the faith walk. Everybody walks by faith. I mean, these signs you follow them that believe. Uh, I'm a believer. She's a sign, and she's following me, okay? Glory to God. See, when you step out in God, you know God does more for you instead of just staying rooted to the spot. Now that you've come this far, stop, face the music. I mean, face the congregation. <laughs> Square your shoulders back and check it. Test it now. Test it real good. Re remember, it's been there a long time. Before you answer me, remember Ananias and Sapphira. What happened to them? You read the Bible. You know what happened to Ananias and Sapphira. They lied and they died. What do you feel in your back? Feels good. No pain? No pain. Not right in that worst spot right there? No. Great. No. Uh, you sure? I'm sure. Positive. But you've had this how many years? Quite a few. I can't remember exactly how many, but. Well, is she still alive? Yes. Well, she must have told the truth. She's still alive. <laughs> well, you want some more? Can I just say something? 
last year when I came to, to hear our brother, I never in my life ever had anything wrong with my ears. And I woke up one morning, and I had this ringing in my ears, in one ear. And um, I couldn't understand what was going on. I came to the service, and he knew nothing about it. And he told me that I had something wrong with my ear. And I said, yes. And I went home and didn't think too much about it. But two days later, it was gone. And I've never had it back again. Oh, thank God. Now, there's an example of a miracle and a healing. A miracle is instant. Healing is gradual, progressive. It took two days to get the ring out of her ear, which is better than never getting it out of her ear. Hallelujah. Uh, we're going to pray some more for you now. Okay. Raise your hands up high. Uh, first of all, God's going to strengthen your wrist here. Mm -hmm your right wrist in the carpal tunnel. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. Bye-bye, devil. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Check that. Get some grip there now. You better believe it. <laughs> Everybody watch out for her. <laughs> Two other things. Uh, stiffness comes to your neck back here. Mm -hmm. And you have a little pressure to the lower abdominal, where I draw the line on my hand. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, there is one more thing. In your throat, like a dry tickle, like a string hanging. I see it. If you open your mouth, I'll pull it out for you. <laughs> wider, a little wider. There you go. Wider. <laughs> Got it. Well, say goodbye, string. Goodbye, string. I don't know if I believe that. Aren't you supposed to be Pentecostal? You're supposed to believe these things. Uh, that of all people, Pentecostals believe in the supernatural world. And everybody does once they leave the body. <laughs> Hallelujah. God give this all to our sister. Heal this lower abdominal. Let the pain be gone. Thank you, Jesus. Let the snake be free. Mighty God be Throat be clear. Go in peace. Faith has made you whole. Hallelujah. Everyone said, yes, Lord. Hey, let brother come. Let's pray for him. I see by your great big smile that you believe this sort of thing. Yes, yes. I've got you by the hand, but that thumb's in kind of odd shape. Yeah. What'd you do to it? Uh, stretch the tendon. What? Stretch the tendon. Oh, I see. Down here. Oh, yes. Yeah. So you'd like God to stretch it back where it belongs? Yes. Well, then he'll do that for you. Raise up your hands, and we'll do it now. Don't look, don't look at me like I'm doing I'm just praying. It's the Lord's doings. Marvelous in our eyes. Lord God Almighty, loose this man and give him a new thumb. Put the tendon back where it belongs. It's been stretched out of joint in place. There it comes back in. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise him. Man, he was easy to pray for. Yeah. He had some faith. Yeah. You get a hold of somebody got some faith, you don't have to sweat and fret while you're praying. <laughs> yeah. All right. Stretch forth your hand and wiggle your thumb around. Yeah. I was going to do it for you, but you're doing pretty good. Well, how come it ain't hurting you? Well, because it's healed. <laughs> I guess he knows that. Hallelujah. How long has it been that way? Uh, about uh, this time, about four months. Four months. Well, shake on it and go ahead and squeeze me. Oh, easy on me. I'm getting old. <laughs> Glory to God. God bless, bless you. Him, Father. Bless him. God bless you. The man of the new thumb. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, where they go? That brother in the green come. All right, you ready for yours? Definitely. All right, the pressure that's going on, look here, look upon me. Uh, the, the pressure that's going on in your head. Definitely. Is that right? Yeah. I feel like the top of your head blowing off. Here it goes. 
you're not going to have it no more. Uh, you ready now? You want to be healed right now? Well, then we're going to have to pray right now. He wants it right now. So you have not because you asked not. Right. Loose this man's head. Take all the pressure. Take the blood pressure down. The migraine out of his head. And oh, yeah. It's driving his eyes crazy, too. Loose this vice-like grip at his temples. And let his vision even come clear. No more double vision. No more blur. Ooh. Are we asking too much? Or, or is there anything too hard for the Lord? You know those verses better than I do. Hallelujah. Now at least in Jesus' name. Come to me now. Spin around and take a hard look at all the friendly folks that's waving at us. Did they brighten up, get any crisper? Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> where's, where's the pain in your head? Gone. You mean it was really there? Yeah, I've been going through some stuff, yeah. And your head's clear now? Yeah. yeah. Eyes are clear. Oh, my goodness. You want a bonus? Sure. A bonus is something extra special you get for getting healed real good. God's loosening your kneecaps and both your knees. You like to have them? Sure. How bad you need them? Real bad. <laughs> I'll be back from the knee shelf in a minute, okay? Or in a se two seconds. Angel, bring the knee shelf over here. We need to. Got them. Now by osmosis, let them absorb into the man's body. Feel like a carpenter. <laughs> Do some goose stepping with me now. Tell me when they're loose. Feel pretty good. They gonna stay that way? I believe so. Okay. If they don't, you resist the reoccurring symptom and it'll flee from you. Right. Thanks, Lord, God bless you for having a new head and two new knees. Hallelujah to God. If you're happy, say praise God, I'm happy. Amen. Well, now, are you really happy? Now, the little sister blonde girl right here, if she'll come, God will touch her next. Well, I tell you, this is better than going to the hospital. Amen. You got it. And when you go see your doctor, he's got, you have a 10 o'clock appointment, and he's got 50 people ahead of you, right? Uh -huh. He goes see every one of them before he sees you. Well, you happy? You're going to be. Raise up your hands. You've been under a depression, a great depression, and you can't shake it. Torments you, keeps you awake, can't eat, can't sleep. You don't have peace. This spirit of infirmity is leaving your brain and your mind right now. That depression is leaving forever. Raise up your hands high. Loose her and come out of her. Oh, spirit of depression, leave this woman and give her peace. She will mourn no more, pine no more. She will be anxious no more. She will have anxiety no more and panic attacks no more because her depression is disappeared and gone forever from her life tonight. Done. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There the girl, thank him. It's gone. You feel that difference now? It's totally different. It's hard to explain. She's been under it so long, she has to get used to the new feeling she has. But it's done. Take a step of faith with me. Hallelujah. Now, the main thing is this depression that's been with you for a long time. It's gone. But he's also going to heal your body tonight. Amen. He's going to loose you now Amen. in your spine. Loose art thou, loosen art thou in Jesus' name. In your
your neck right in there. You've had a, a whiplash, something jerked you. Loose in Jesus. No, it's gone now. You let it go loose now. There you go. Yes, you will. You do it. Check it out. Thank you, Jesus. What do you feel? It's better. Huh? It's better. Better? Does it hurt you any? All right. This choking's going to leave your throat till you're going to get your voice back. Receive your new larynx and voice box. It's done. Say, thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Uh, we can hear you now. Lacey, who's Lacey? Who? Who'd you say? Your daughter. Okay. You know, this is half what ails you. It's her. There's going to be peace between you and Lacey. Bring her to God, oh Lord. Bring her to God just like you did Mama. Believe it or not, Mama's come to God tonight. So, well, It's easier to say, thy sins be forgiven. Her eyes take up your bed and walk. What's the difference? Now, Lord, let them get back on speaking terms and let the uh, defense be tore down and mend it, God, and bring them back together. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say thank God. Say, Lord, I believe you're going to do it. Right, do it. Well, he's already done it. If that's the case, <laughs> praising my God. Uh, you keep living for God, and she's going to be fine, all right? She will follow your example. You're her mother after all. Everyone said, thank God for it. Well, say, so I love you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Send granny down here if she'll come yeah you you come on you're, you're granny enough <laughs> hallelujah well how many believes God knows what he's doing okay you need to be healed real bad huh yes I mean real good not real bad <laughs> I don't care what you call it so long as I get healed uh, well I guess that's a humble candidate. <laughs> Your left leg's about shot, ain't it? Yes. What happened to it? My knee. <laughs> well, we'll start there then. It's in your leg, after all. Yes, it is. Every knee is in the leg. Right? Is that right? Yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> that's your left one. Now, you're starting to lose your eyesight, too. In your vision. Yes. We've got to get rid of that. Your blood is low. Your blood is low. Yes. Poor circulation and the sugar level is low in your blood. Very bad sugar. What'd you say? Have very bad sugar levels. It goes real high and goes real low. Well, it goes high, low, and high, high and low. Now, uh, God knows all about you. You know that. Yes. You also need two new rotor cups in your shoulders. Yes. That's right. Lord, heal this woman. One more thing would be a general overhaul. Set her free and give her victory. And she don't care what she's got to go through as long as she gets healed, and I don't blame her. Lord, you're the healer. Loose her now and let her be made every way whole. Give her back her eyesight. Sugar diabetes, leave this body and bloodstream and give her a new pancreas in her stomach. Thank God. Well... Let's get to trotting around here now. Thank God. <laughs> Amen. You're on your own now. When you, when you when you get back, we'll check on you. Now, she's probably not uh, as healed as a teenager is, but for a woman her age, she's in pretty good shape right now. That's what God told Moses. He said, as your days are, so shall your strength be. How's your leg feel? Feels pretty good. Yeah. yeah I... Well, you're feeling pretty good all over. <laughs> yes, you... sir, I am. Well, well, look around now and see if things have cleared up a little in the room. Mommy's laughing at me. 
Marnie's well, we'll have to talk to her about that. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> well, I'm happy. Yeah. Amen. Well, they got a renew acquaintance here. They haven't seen each other for a while. <laughs> the sister with your hand up to your ear, would you come next? Glory to God. Are you enjoying church tonight? Do you believe the Lord will heal your body? Yes. I see. <laughs> what? Joy is hitting you already. Joy hadn't done nothing yet. <laughs> well, get them up there. I may ha not have to do a thing. Just get them a little higher. Yeah. Now, you, you've you been quite tired in body. Very tired. And your blood's low. That's the problem. You're, you've been borderline anemic. But since you got here, a heat started passing through your body. Real hot, real warm. You feel that? Not physically, but I believe that that could be happening, yeah. Yeah. Well, you've woke up because you're sitting back there white as a ghost, and now you're full of color. I can only perceive that there's some heat went through you. And, of course, the heat passing is a sign of blood transfusion. That means your blood's healed. But you're also weak in your back. It's in your lower back. And your right hip troubles you. It's over your sciatic. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I spoke you the truth. Mm -hmm. All right. Your eyes are bothering you with spots and floaters and little things drifting across your vision. And uh, it's worse in your right eye. So we're going to have to rebuke the blind spirit too. What else do you need? Ah, your sinus. Your sinus, you stop up in your nasal breathing. That's to be healed too. And a weird cramp strikes you across here. And that's just on occasion, but that's where it comes, through there. Now I want you to be healed in Jesus' name. Lord God, make her whole. We're praying, and you're doing it. Everyone said he's doing it. Hallelujah. Walk around with that joy and praise the Lord. She's going to get a bonus when she gets back. I just spotted it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, rejoice. The work is done. As far as God's concerned, it's all done. It's all done. You just have to be a little bit patient and watch him work it out. It's done. You're getting new feet, too. You want them? Sure. <laughs> well, what seems to be wrong with them? Uh, uh, older, so. uh, well, don't don't accept that. Or uh, let me tell you what's wrong with your feet, so you can believe me. Okay, okay. you're starting to go flat-footed. Okay, makes sense to you? It does because it's genetic. And it's what? It's genetic in the family. So, well, ain't that what I just said? <laughs> Lord, it's genetic in her family to have flat feet, and she's getting hers. <laughs> Rebuke them, reverse them, remove them. Let the arches rise and let the bridges come up in her feet. Now walk and see the difference walking. Hallelujah. Yeah. Wonderful. Go in peace. My sister come. Okay, something's been happening to you lately. And it seems like a very heavy weight is on your chest. You can hardly get your breath. Right. Is that right? Yes. And you're wondering what it is. Yes. Well, it's your heart. And uh, God's going to heal it. And you always said, these heart conditions runs in my family so much, thank God I'll never get it. See, that's not m for me. But uh, the devil's using it against you. And you're getting a new heart anyhow, so it don't matter what's been there in the past. It's changing now. As a sign that this is true, suddenly you're going to be able to breathe easy and feel the load drop on the floor that's on your chest. Lobo Sunday. There it goes. It just hit the floor. You can breathe now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ah, two lungs, too. 
You get in lungs, two lungs and a heart, three organs in the chest. One, two, three. Everyone said it's done. Step toward me now and take a deep breath. What's going on? It feels better later. It's nice. It's later. It's You're not smothered. You're not smothered. Not like I have been. Uh-huh. Well, God knew what ailed you, and he, he removed it. Yes, he did. Now, something else you haven't told nobody, your, your hip joint is starting to bother you, your right hip. Yes. Is that right? Yes. It's right over the sciatic, but the, the ball joint needs replacing. It's, de- it's disintegrating. But don't panic. I'll be right back from the hip shelf in a minute, okay? Angel, send that other shelf over here that's got hip bones on it. Heaven's full of body parts. What's the matter with you? People don't know enough on earth. People on earth don't know enough to claim their body part. Or or heaven could make more, but they're backlogged up there. Claim yours. Well, how do you know she's going to get one? Well, we'll find out in a minute, won't we? By osmosis, like that hip. Come in the socket. Go ahead and speak it out. I tell you right now, there's one happy camper. The joy of the Lord is her strength. Hallelujah. Now, when she gets back to earth, we're going to find out about that hip, aren't we? And all you believers are going to be so happy with yourself that you believe God. Now, explain to me what you feel in your hip walking. It feels a whole lot better. Let's finish the walk. I want to make sure that it's complete. I mean, God can do more in two seconds than you can in your lifetime. But I, sometimes we have to give him two seconds, you know. I know you're all in a hurry and you needed a miracle yesterday, but wait on the Lord tonight. Okay, what did you notice that time? It's great. It's great? And you're healed. And you're breathing. Two lungs and a heart. Well, congratulations, you believers. I said, congratulations, you believers. Hallelujah to God. Amen. My brother here in the white, would you like me to pray for you tonight? Okay, rise up and we'll take care of something that's been bothering you. And uh, now no chiropractor's ever been able to get rid of this for you, but God's going to take it away from you tonight. And it's back in your neck, right in here. It's a stiffness that locks in. And of course, you still drive. Mm-hmm. And I know you're not very trustworthy of the side view mirror. No. You have to look over your shoulder. Oh, you can't trust that mirror because I see you driving now. And every time you try to look over your shoulder, that thing catches on you. Sure does. Yeah. Well, it'll never do it again. Raise your hand. Amen. Excuse me. I just felt an unction. Oh, God. This man has quiet faith. Let him use it. Now we speak to this neck. Let it come loose and break free from the stiffness. See how loose that is. Yeah, a lot. A lot of loose. <laughs> yeah. And no pain. And no pain. And no pain. The pain left too. It did. Now, congratulations on no longer being a stiff neck person. <laughs> Because this country is full of a lot of stiff-necked folks, but his was only physical. We could help him. It's the spiritual stiff-necks you can't do nothing for. See there. 
Amen. God bless you. You have a new neck. Go ahead and drive and look over your shoulder. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Now, I think uh, I'm not quite done with you. Uh, God's going to loose you in your back, too. I missed that. But that's what I get for getting in a hurry. This is in your lower back, and it's in the last three bones down. The last one's the worst. That would be your tailbone. Take the stiffness from his back. And everyone said, that's done too. In Jesus' name. Now, as he did your neck, if you touch your toes, you feel your back is loose. Well, he hadn't done that for a long time. How was that? Night and day difference. Yeah. Night and day. Yeah, absolutely. Now, sister, come because there's no sense him getting something and you not. They got we got a piece in the family here. Yeah, exactly. Hallelujah. Uh, you believe God will heal you too? I hope He does. <laughs> Just say I know He will. I know He will. That's faith. Raise both your hands. I'm seeing you get two new knees in your kneecaps, and the circulation that's in your leg mm -hmm. is going to come back. But there's something in your knees that's blocking the circulation. Mm -hmm. So when the knees are fixed, you'll have good circulation in your legs too. Hallelujah. Now, you have a little movement of blood pressure. Blood pressure, mm -hmm. it goes high. Mm -hmm. You also have some fluid in your body. Mm -hmm. You are worried about something that catches you in your chest to here mm -hmm. from time to time. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you what it is, it's, it's fluid around the heart because that runs in your family. Yeah, you had a grandparent that passed away with this, with congestive heart failure. Yep. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, uh, you're not going to pass away with this. When you go to heaven, it'll have to be something beside your heart that takes you. Because it can't be this. God's going to heal this Amen. now. Amen. Your sciatics are pulling. Mm -hmm. And you got something that comes in your stomach that gets sharp. Mm -hmm. Feels like a knife. Now, I have to tell you what a knife means to me when I perceive kni knives. It speaks of surgery. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take the knife, and you will escape surgery because we took the knife. Mm -hmm. Do you believe the things I'm telling you? I do. Because it's all the truth. That's it is. <laughs> Hang on. Let me get the knife. <laughs> I got it. There goes the knife into the wall, and someone said, surgery success. Surgery. Hallelujah. Yeah. Loosen her now. Oh, God, I missed her back. I'm sorry. Now give her the knee, new kneecaps and the new circulation in both legs. i got to tell you, I've had three kneecaps already in those legs. What? I've had three kneecaps already in those legs. Well, that was the first thing I dealt with, wasn't it? I know. I had two replacements, and then I broke one. So I had to replace that. The glue didn't stick. <laughs> Well, I'd better hurry up and pray, pray again for make sure about that. <laughs> well, now that time I felt like a blacksmith. That's right. <laughs> Pick them right up there, up and down, and do a little goose stepping. What do you feel on your knees? Actually, my knees feel good, but I'm feeling my sciatica is going away, so that's really good. <laughs> well, I haven't checked on that yet. Oh. Lord, faith walk, faith walk. Oh, Jesus. Lord Jesus, we are all walking by faith. Now, Lord, you know I prayed for her sciatics. Let them both be loosed. In Jesus' name. Didn't take long for the angel to touch her. I mean, you've got to give it time. I mean. Well, uh, at least five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it's that part right there. Hallelujah. It's getting, it's getting there. All right, press in and see if you're tender where I pulled the knife out. No, but it feels like an indentation right there. <laughs> well, that might be the incision. That could have been. After all, God's got to remind you of what he did lest you forget it. 
we're good. <laughs> hang on. Raise your hand again. Thank you. Lord, finish up this left hip. Do the transplant. New hip joint. Now you can check it. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> it feels good. Well, we're going ahead. When the baby's born, then we'll be doing dancing. Yeah. <laughs> baby, you. did you say? Yeah. Well, we're, uh, we're first grandparents, first time parents. Oh, you had me scared there for a minute. Me <laughs> too. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that's sure starting young. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, praise my God. Are you enjoying church tonight? Yeah. Hallelujah to God. Uh, the girl in the black blouse come. Well, hallelujah. And so far I haven't had to sit in my chair tonight. Congratulations. God bless you. Bless you. You wish to be healed? Yes. Everybody comes to these meetings wishes to be healed. That's no great revelation. Raise up hand. Did you know that uh, you're having some stiffness in your joints now? Mm -hmm. Arthritis of the first stage. It's making you mad. I see it in your eyes. <laughs> and you're trying to figure out how to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Well, you finally figured it out. <laughs> get to this meeting, this healing revival, mm -hmm. and you'll be healed. Okay. Uh, I'm seeing it leaving your lower spine, mm -hmm. your right hip. I'm watching it. It goes this way. It's like a Z. You also have it in the other joints, too. Mm -hmm. But I'm seeing it leave there first. <laughs> Top shell. <laughs> you, too, are smothering in your breathing here. You can't breathe respiratory condition almost asthmatic it's coming out this is how arthritis come out of her bones and joints there it goes leave her hip joint now <coughs> give her back her lungs move the asthma from a Hallelujah. Let the Holy Ghost come in here. Don't fight it. You all heard tell of the square dance? This one's a round dance. Wow. What happened to your joints? I don't have any pain. <laughs> I haven't told anybody I was aching so bad. <laughs> well, Jesus knew all about it. I know. It's awesome. <laughs> it feels so good. I know. It was like that woman that uh, went to that pastor that wasn't totally on the level and said, I saw what you did and uh, heard what you said. He said, oh, I'm so sorry you saw what I did and heard what I said. Well, the Lord hears you and sees you all the time. I know, sister, but he don't have quite a big a mouth as you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank Jesus. He made you whole. Oh, Shabbat. Oh, glory to God. Well, are you getting happier? Oh, blessed be the Lord who has blessed us with great spiritual blessings this night. Okay, let's see. That girl back here, would you 
come on down and see what ails you. <laughs> well, I guess one thing you need to dress, but we can't do nothing no. about that now. Okay, now, you're not very old. Do you think Jesus can heal you? I think so. I hope okay, so. let me look at you. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Did you know you have a little trouble in here in your throat with your thyroid gland? Yeah. You, she was determined to shake her head down. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. So you just I know <laughs> you didn't let me finish, but when, by the time I finished the sentence, her head was going. <laughs> How is it that anybody as young as you has a thyroid problem? I, mean, I think it runs my family. My mom has problems. She's had it removed. She did. Mm -hmm. Do you want it removed or do you want it healed? I like it healed. I like to keep it. <laughs> well, I don't blame you. Would you live for Jesus if he does that for you? I will. You would even get rid of that thing in your nose? <laughs> All he wants is a little sacrifice. I mean, he's not asking much. It's just a little thing. I mean, you're going to get this free. You're not chewing nothing, are you? I have gum in my Oh, give me the gum. You actually want it? Yeah, okay. yeah, give me the gum. Here you go. <laughs> Freely I receive, freely I give. <laughs> well, didn't laugh all you want, or she obeyed me. <laughs> See, you, you never know when you're being tested. I don't know anybody that wouldn't trade a piece of gum for a miracle any day of the week. <laughs> Okay, here it goes. Lord Jesus Christ, this girl don't need to live her life without a thyroid in her throat with a big old cut across her throat. Cast this thing out and put in a brand new thyroid gland that her metabolism will all straighten out in her body, which has been out of whack ever since the thyroid's been out of whack. Hold still. Don't move. I'll be right back. Thyroid shelf, thank you, Lord. Here it comes. Swallow. You swallowed it. Mm -hmm. Swallow again, see the difference. Is it different? Mm -hmm. Okay. He's only asking for a little sacrifice, so you know, you look so pretty without that thing stuck in your nose. <laughs> now, the world may not think so, but anybody that belongs to Jesus would think so. God bless you. Your thyroid is healed. And you're going to live for God, you promised me. Yes. God bless you. Go in faith. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Now, that wasn't so bad, was it? You sitting here scared to death, dreading all night long the moment that I was going to call you. And now it's over with and you passed the judgment. Don't you feel so good? See, she needed the practice. We will all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And once we get past it, we're in the gates for good. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come, sister. Blessed be the Lord now. Hallelujah. You know God's going to heal you, don't you? Yes. Look upon me. I see you was in some kind of an accident. I was in a car accident when I was 18. That's enough. I just want you to confirm you was in an accident. In this accident, it messed up your bones, especially your leg, your right leg. Is that true? Yes. You want that healed tonight? Yes. Oh, isn't this real? Isn't this wonderful? Some, how do you know all this stuff? Don't ask stupid questions. It's a gift. It's one of the nine gifts of the Spirit. It's called the Word of Knowledge. All right? All right. It's messed up your back, too. Your back's a mess. Hallelujah. Something else got messed up right, right about the same time of the accident. You had a heartache and a heartbreak. Something broke your heart. I should say somebody broke your heart. 
and that contributed to the accident and to your recovery afterwards. Well, you're going to recover tonight, and your broken heart will mend. It has already mended, but it's got this scar on it. I've got to get the scar out of your heart. Hang on. Oh, it's a root festering. A little root of bitterness. I got it. I got it. Here's another one. This one. Here's another. It's longer. Unforgiveness. Okay. Hurry up. Say, I forgive them. I forgive them. Your heart's healed. <laughs> that fast. Hushabahoti. <laughs> and so's your leg healed. Walk with me now, a new spine and a new leg. Oh, hush up on the eye. Glory to God now. Whoop. Take your right foot and stomp the devil's head. Uh, kick his head in. Praise God. What do you feel in your leg? Nothing. It's not bothering you, don't It's not bothering me. And your new heart sure ain't bothering you because you have got an emotional healing. Yes. That's right. And how's the back? I don't feel anything in my back. It's okay. feeling good. <laughs> uh, let me tell you one other thing. During the accident, you, you hit your head right about where my hand is. And you will, since then, you, you get like migraines, pain in the head. It's just chronic. It comes and goes. It, just off and on. And it, when you do feel it, it pressures this eye. You will not feel that again. That's a bonus for you. In Jesus' name. God bless you. You passed the judgment too. Ain't you feeling good? Yes. Hallelujah.